are coming on the air tonight at six with a renewed focus on mental health and addiction. We hope you're safe. I'm Joshua Short. You may remember it was October 25th when 40 year old Robert Card stormed into a bowling alley and a restaurant in Maine and began shooting his assault style weapon. So you may be asking at home, what does this have to do with us here in Michigan? Our George Mallet is sifting through that and other complicated questions and joins us with complicated and complex answers. George, explain the link here. Well, Josh, you and I were part of a big discussion about mental health at our morning editorial meeting. We talked about how local police in Maine knew Robert Card was frankly scaring those around him earlier this fall. We also talked about how difficult it is to get help right here when you're in a dark place, often resulting in self-medication and addiction problems. In Michigan, we're asking ourselves what resources are available to people dealing with mental illness and addiction. I learned very early on that the way that you deal with everything essentially is to uh, use or drink. Zachary Stoltz has been clean for four years, but before that he was saved 32 times with emergency Narcan treatments. Now he is a jack of all trades resource here at the Indiana Center for Recovery. Having been through it, he knows how to help patients in the throes of addiction. Having that person with uh, firsthand experience and knowledge of what you're going through um, and, and being able to show them what you did and how you did it to get through, I, I, th I think it's, uh, you know, it, it's essential. At this state-of-the-art facility, many staffers have dealt with addiction and codependence themselves. Dawn Johnson is a mental health nurse practitioner at the Mishawaka Center. Dawn's late husband was a military veteran, a veterinarian, and an addict. When he was cut off from opiates, he began treating himself with animal meds. And he wound up in 2013, he died complications of his addiction. And I went back to school to try and still save him, I suppose. Working here, though, Johnson's able to help save others. Patients reside here as they're treated for addictions and mental health issues. That inpatient component is key, and Johnson sometimes finds insurance companies are unwilling to pay even when a patient is a clear danger to themselves. I even had one insurance company tell me after I told them this kid had five plans to kill himself, one was suicide by cop, one was jumping in front of a train, one was going and starting a bar fight. The psychiatrist on the other end for the insurance company actually said to me, oh, so he's not planning on taking his life by his own hands. And the fact is the insurance company never got off their wallet, but the Indiana Center for Recovery gave the young man what it calls a, a scholarship. In other words, the center footed the bill for his inpatient care. Dawn Johnson and I have been texting back and forth since I told her we were going to be doing this story today. She tells me Zach Stoltz, who you saw there, said to her it will be nice to make the news for once without getting arrested. Zach is self-aware, self-deprecating, a great young father, and frankly, a reason for hope. Getting to the bottom of an important story. We appreciate you telling it, George Malley in studio. Thank you, sir.